Hi, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. It's Eric here. My name is Eric. I'm Marco Bodhi. It's been ages since I came your way live, uh, but today I decided, hey, let's break that pattern and come your way. As you can see, I'm in my art studio uh, doing a series of work at the moment. The one on that side is actually a series I'm doing on the relationship that Black women have with their environment. So as you can see, it's a lady holding um, with a butterfly on the, on the thumb in a field of flowers. And then I'm also exploring other pieces using Van Gogh's style. So it will be various animals with Van Gogh's style uh, paintings. So yeah, new studio, I set it up, when was it? December, December is when I set this to you up. And I'm really enjoying being in a space where I can paint a lot of work. Because when I was in London, as you know, I was doing my paintings from a small corner in my living room. But now I've got a whole studio to myself, so I can come up with more paintings. So yeah, tell me how you're doing. Tell me where you are listening to me from, and I'll give you a shout out. I think I can see a comment here. Let's see who's joined. Wow. So Chuke, Senior Chuke says, Michia Ubiya Ubiyafo. Thank you, Senior Chuke, for joining us. That's a very good friend of mine all the way back, even before secondary school. So I really appreciate him joining us this afternoon. Wherever you join us from, from all over the world, let me know, write in the comment box and I will give you a shout out. But today is a special day. I've got someone so special to interview and she's gonna join us very, very soon. She's from Ghana, so I can't wait to interview her. Uh, tell us where you're joining in from. Our channel, if you're new here, is all about promoting African art. So we talk about all things African art. Isn't it beautiful? We have to tell our stories. We have to uh, just paint from our perspective and let the rest of the world know what is happening from our perspective. So that is what we do. And I've been interviewing a lot of people since 2020, I think it was, when I had the first season, I interviewed over 44 artists from Africa. I had my second season uh, in 2021. There was a third season and now I have started the fourth season. So we'll see. Let's see how many artists that I can interview this time around. But let me know if you have an artist that you want me to interview to. Just pop me the name in the comment box and definitely I'll do so. So Senior TK says, I'm watching from Essex in the UK. Thank you so much, Senior TK, for, from Essex. Great. So I'm still waiting for my guest to join in. But I thought, let me touch base with you on how artists deal with stress because these days artists go through a lot of stress uh with regards to whether it's economic stress whether it's mental health whether it's whatever whatever uh, there's a lot of stress on artists these days whether you're not making sales but i'd like to talk a little bit about how you can deal with it before my guests come in why not let's seize the opportunity to about, talk about it so with these stresses that we, we get into i think the best way to deal with it is to embark on that creative journey just do it just taking action just painting no matter what when you do go through your creative exercise you are able to mentally deal with whatever you're going through you can only overcome stress with action you can let me repeat you can only overcome stress with action so there are times where i don't even feel like painting or there are times that i'm life's issues get in the way of my creative flow but the way i overcome it is to what paint anyway sometimes i just get to my studio i sit here and i just doodle so i'm going to show you some of my doodles let me grab my my sketchbook and i'll show you my doodling right so that's some of my sketchbook and sometimes i just i just doodle away i just do whatever it takes let me show you some of them I like sketching in, in pen, so biro pen, and I just doodle my way around. These are sketches that I did when I saw Peter. I was traveling back and forth in London on the tube. So I just paint, doodle my way. Sometimes I go over sketches that I've not finished. No matter how finished or complete they are, I just go through it. Sometimes I just come up with various ideas. Let's have a look at this. I go in the coffee shop and I sketch people. So just fill your sketchbook with whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. 
sometimes ideas pop up and you just jot it away so these are some of the things that i do to still keep me creative when i am stressed i pick up my sketchbook and i doodle away that's something that you can do and then sometimes you just go for a walk and be in touch with nature just be in touch with nature just uh go out into the fields sit somewhere and that's observe life this is where your creative juices will start coming in i can see four people on there just type in the comment box where you've joined me from and i'll say hello to you back i'll give you a shout out whilst we wait for our guest to join us live and then we'll interview our guest so yes just type in the comment box as i was telling you earlier on i'm in my new studio and there are a lot of work to be done there's a lot of work to be done uh, i'm doing two series at the same time the first series is a series on the relationship of women with nature and that's one painting that's completed i've got five more to go to make it a series of six and then on the right hand side let's point properly that one i have got a painting of an eagle and i'm doing a series of about six animals uh, in the style of vincent van gogh vincent van gogh so there's, I think it's called the Starry Night or something. Yes, it's called the Starry Night. That is what I'm going to do as well. I've got my wife who has just joined in right now. Marie says, greetings, everyone. Hello, Marie. Marie's just next door anyway. <laughs> but thank you for joining the in. Uh, everyone, I will just entreat you to share this video on your platforms, whether it's WhatsApp, whether it's on your YouTube channel, whether it's on your Facebook, just copy the link and share it for me whilst we wait for our guests to join in. So how's your Saturday been? I hope you're having a great Saturday. It's quite windy in Doncaster. I'm currently in Doncaster. It's quite windy over here. And yes, I'm not sure whether it's going to rain or not. But by the way, we have our guest here. So I will start the program. Right. So I'll keep my guest in the background whilst I introduce her. And then as soon as she is ready, I'll bring her on stage. Let's let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Right. So. Drum roll, as you can see on the screen, my guest is Sharon Dede Paddy. So Sharon is a specialist in the field of construction and project management and is an artist and the CEO of Paddy Art Gallery. As the CEO of Paddy Art Gallery, she's also won numerous awards from around the world. One of them being the award for Africa's most respected CEO in art, which was held in Mauritius. And the other award is for the most outstanding female in art by Feminine Ghana Achievement Awards. She has exhibited her pieces in prominent galleries and museums in Ghana, and most recently has attempted the Guinness World Record for the longest painting marathon. I mean, this is just a clip of a snap of what she has achieved. She has achieved so much, but I would like to bring her on here so that she can tell us herself. So let's welcome Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hello. <laughs> Hey, it's good to see you finally. <laughs> same, same. You're looking so artistic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Great, great, very great. So it's good to have you on here with me. Um, all my audience say hello to Sharon. Let her feel at home as we normally do on this channel. Thanks for having me as well. Great, great, great. So <laughs> Sharon, um, just for our audience who don't know you, and I know every Ghanaian knows you now, <laughs> if, if, even if they didn't know you, they now know you because of what you've achieved in the last few weeks. Um, but for those of you who don't know you, who is Sharon the day uh, Paddy? Ah, Sharon the day Paddy is a very humble, down to earth artist. Okay. Um, I was born in at Newtafo Akim in the eastern region of Ghana where I attended Coco Research Institute of Ghana Primary School, which is Creek Primary. And then I went on to further my education at uh, Krobo Girls Secondary School. I think I did a one year at Association International in Accra before setting my common entrance 
and then entering into Kruber Girls Secondary School, where I did my O levels. And then I went on to a Brie Girls Secondary School. Oh, wow. To do my A levels. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a bit of like in every, yeah, every girls that I, I did um, a bit of art because I found it easier, yeah. So I added it to my courses. So from there, I moved on to Kwame Nkrumah's University of, um, of Science and Technology, where wow. I studied architecture. Oh, wow. Yes. So in my sixth year, I stopped and then I went on to London South Bank University, where I okay. um, did my master's in construction and project management. So afterwards, I got back to Ghana, started working with a couple of firms, like construction firms, as a project manager. And I'm finally working with Accra Technical University as an assistant development officer and a head of the hostel. So that's my current situation. But during this journey, that is when my art popped up. So I, I'm sure we'll get there. Or... Definitely, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. But before we carry on, <laughs> we share one common friend who says that I should sing you a song and, and see whether you remember. So if I sing, looking in your eyes. I see <laughs> our children's children. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that is from Little, eh? Little. <laughs> I mean, he has been my friend since childhood. We, we, oh, we my God. <laughs> yes, he was my <laughs> mate in architecture at KNUST. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's amazing how you were yeah. able to catch this phone straight away. <laughs> oh, yes. It's a song we, I'm sure right. the two of us will never forget. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. the song behind it. And um, I'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, Kofi, Kofi and I um go way back from Pembe College days. Right. So let's oh, go okay. back to yeah, let's get back to the interview. Uh I, okay. I'm sure that little will be so happy that I, I did sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> right, you made so my day on, anyway. Yeah. Before we carry on, let's say hello to a few people who've joined us and I've said hello to you as well. So we've got Denise mm -hmm. who says that my girl. Uh we've got Chike, who says hello, Sharon. So Chike says hello, uh, hello to you from the UK. And Denise says okay. that's so proud of you. And um, yes, and Chike says quite. I'm not sure whether <laughs> what that means, but everyone <laughs> says hello to you. And um, I hope you we make you feel comfortable on this show. Uh, basically, so we we're talking about your school days <laughs> and how you really got into art. Is it something that you've been doing since childhood? Or you just pick the apps halfway? Uh, talking about, yes, I think I'll say I was doing it from my childhood right. in terms of scribbling around on walls, on the floor, everywhere I get anything to write. I think I used to draw something there. Wow. And this obviously led to being smacked a bit and discipli disciplined a bit. But yeah. I don't think it stopped me anyway. Looking at where I am now. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah so, yeah, so it's from childhood. Um, obviously, in school, we all do art yes. at one point in time. So I did it in the primary in bits, then the secondary in bits. But going to the university time, I think my mom had to come in to make a decision for me where she wanted me to read architecture instead of moving into the arts. Wow. So, yeah. So that is when I dropped it completely. Mm. Yes. And then um, afterwards, I went to do the master's, came, came to Ghana, got married. Uh, should I say I divorced? <laughs> <laughs> so when, when, I, when, I, when I managed to get out, I think that was when it dawned on me mm. that, you know, you can paint. I, I see artists around painting things and 
I think every time it used to just occur to me that you can do something nicer than this. That's right. But I don't know. I just couldn't come to terms. So I don't know. One day I just got up and told the kids, you know, I can paint, I can draw. So oh, no, 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 you can't do anything. I will be surprised. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure even if you ask little, he will tell you he didn't have a clue. Sitting in class with me over six years. That's reading right. architecture he, they never knew i could because even the architecture i used to let them do my work for me you know <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. yeah to the extent that i'll go to them i'll be like hey please can you just catch my this friends. one for me can you yeah. Yeah. yeah so no one had a clue i could paint mm. so i went to buy a canvas i took a deco i bought some paints i put it in the house over a year i never touched it okay so in a year's time roughly i just got up one day and i was like i'm going to show you people i can paint yes so i took this canvas and i i did something on it wow i think i'll, I'll get them to bring it for me to show that first one i did within that time i think so, definitely we'll be able to see that one you know there's always <laughs> a special thing to do with it first when it comes to first. Yes. can i have that painting <laughs> yeah so yeah i did something they were like oh mommy so you could paint so I, I was like yeah so the kids put it up in their room wow and then afterwards i started buying canvases and bits and i started painting painting paint that's about 10 years ago okay and i don't think i've put a brush down since then yes yeah yes. i mean reading your profile it, it blew my mind the um, the amount of paintings that you've been able to do within a short period of time and i'm like what <laughs> i mean as artists you know how long it can take sometimes on, on a thing yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's another that's another weird part of me mm. which um should i say i'm scared of my own self because okay. my speed yeah. my speed Amma, get me my painting. The first one I did. My <laughs> speed. <laughs> my speed of painting is, is weird. Because sometimes I just tell myself, okay, today I want to be normal like a normal artist. <laughs> so I take, I take a canvas. I'm like, look, I'm going to do a bit. I'll stop. And then I'll come and continue. But mm. the moment I touch it, if I don't finish, I, ca I can't get up. I just want to see what is going to come out of it. That's quite surprising because I mean yeah. most artists do not complete one painting in a go. No. Okay. No. Meanwhile, when I when I, I, I don't know, I, I'm able at least the maximum I can remember I can do, I can do about thirty canvases in a day. What? <laughs> that is impressive. Yes. Really impressive. Really impressive. Yes. So I've got a few of your paintings on screen that I'm going to display, and I will talk about them. Um, but before then, I, I was reading that you've done 1,480 paintings for Rock City alone. So Rock City is yes. in a, a hotel in the Eastern region. Yes. 1,480 paintings for just that place. You've also done 50 yes. paintings for La Palme Hotel Beach in Accra. You've done 50 paintings mm -hmm. for Open Heavens Airbnb. I mean, it blows my mind. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Wow, that's, that's you, a you, don't, you don't seem to understand it, do you? <laughs> no, it blows my mind. Because I'm it, an artist, a... I know I know the time it takes to come up with a piece. Yeah. And, um, but you, you, your pieces are also so complete. Let me show some of them. So these are three pieces yeah. first that that you, you 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 provided earlier on. Can you tell us a bit about uh -huh. these? The very first painting that you did. Um. The first one is depicting um, these Dagomba dancers. Okay. So as usual, you can see them dressed in their beautiful smocks, That's colorful right. smocks, let me put it that way. And then the dance moves. Yeah. So Beautiful. they are going according to a rhythm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They are going according to a rhythm. Yes. Then yes. we have these families. 
we have a family kind of like women mothers with their children so you can see them carrying their babies walking in uh, with the others and this depicts how strong the african woman is so exactly. you see how she's carrying a baby and also trying to walk the other ones and that's how the african woman is always that, that's our way of life yeah and it gives me that admiration of bringing out the strength in the african woman that's and right. then on the, the third one is another northern dancer enjoying his smock his blue smock and just going according to his rhythm and i think these are paintings that they, they can give inner peace they, they surely give, that yeah, they surely give inner peace. And I like the emotion that you've attached to each piece. So each piece conveys a yeah. sense of emotion and reality, which which and they are so colorful as well. So they are they brighten up your day yeah. wherever you look at it from. Let's look at another one. So these yeah. set of trees I find very, very vibrant and Listen. not provoking. And that is when I had um I had a bit of challenge when I was doing the paintings for Rock City. Right. Because they wanted earth colors, which are very down colors. Yes. So, but anyway, it was a good challenge because it's helped me to also adapt to using earth colors or toned down colors as well. Yeah. Right. And they are beautifully captured. I mean, the one on the third one, can you tell us a bit about it? I think I can see Anansi somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yes there's a there's a spider web um okay. there are some there are some dots circles i played with under and then you can see kwekwanansi there but if you watch closely kwekwanansi is somehow divided into two one part of it looks like a female yes. and the other part is a male and right. the concepts behind this painting was um we had a uh, folklore when we were young which okay. our parents used to tell us the anansisem and at the end of each anansisem kwekwanansi used to be the trickster and the bad one yes at the end of it so looking at our present world and reflecting back onto kwekwanansi who was a man mm -hmm. now in our present world maybe the olden days probably a woman would even be scared to do certain things a man would do or even yes. cheat or you know anything of that sort but anything. now but yeah. now the women are more daring i'm telling you <laughs> they are more daring so i'm, I'm gonna laugh here to that, I'm, yeah i'm even more dangerous <laughs> i know right <laughs> so i named that painting kweku equia anansi to bring out the fact that it is not only the men yeah. who are tricksters in our recent world, in our current world, but the women too are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I love the story behind these paintings. And they are very <laughs> uh, it, it brings out reality as in what we go through in our present day. And you've captured it really well. Um, if they bring the very first painting, let me know. But I'm going to show one more. And if you've got the first painting too, you can let us have a look at it as well. Okay. So this is the, the other three that I wanted to show. And these, I mean, you, okay. you paint abstract realism, isn't it? Some of them are very abstract. Yes. And then there's reality yes. to it. Plus, the stories yes. with regard to um, Which one do you want to talk about? <laughs> I think I'm interested in the third one. Uh, uh, is oh. it it, it's, it's, I okay. love it yeah that one you can see a human form yes carrying an adinkra symbol obviously i love uh showing my or uh, showing off my african culture in my paintings yes so this human doesn't have a human face mm -hmm. it's got this parrot like face then you come to the question like how why why is it not human a full human or why is it not a full parrot it's just to bring out the fact that um, there was a saying, I don't know if I will be right, kind of like 
um sheep no wolves dressed in dressed in sheep clothing how do they say that right. yes yes wolves in sheep clothing <laughs> you got it right yes yes so it's bringing out the fact that sometimes what you see is not what's underneath it mm. yeah wow yeah. wow wow <laughs> That's, that's beautiful. We've got a few comments that have come through, and I, I want us to read a few comments as they come through um, to do uh -huh. with the website here. So bear with me one sec before I show the comments. There are a few comments from Dennis says that Dennis says proud of you. Uh, right, let's go to this one. So Douglas Adai entry says that he's watching you live from Israel. So hi Douglas, hi. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Denise says exquisite with regards to the pieces that you've shown us and Marie says amazing work so Marie is my other half is my better half my wife and she says amazing oh work. thank you thanks Marie thanks everybody too yes and Chike says that he likes the concept behind quick one and say bless you yes I think okay. that was really well captured right so <laughs> do you have a chance to see the very first painting that you did uh, it's not it's not with you is it uh it's just a minute okay can no i problem. can i call out Let's... can i call out? <laughs> jennifer <laughs> bring the ghana must go that's it ama bring the first painting i did that's right so okay. before they are before bringing it bring, there's one more a set you know we're talking about the cultural uh paintings that you do representing your culture I think in these yes. three paintings, you've really represented it well. Um, why are the grass and bones? You know, they speak so much. Mm. They speak so much to the understanding of uh, like the African, and even uh, anybody who comes across it, they have very exactly. deep meaning. Yes. yes. So yes. I always love bringing them in. Edinkra is something that's, for instance, the third one with the splatter of Edinkra. That's right. When you are in a room and this painting is there, and in case you know the meanings, mm -hmm. you know, you go box by box, you section do. by section. And then they, they can even give you advice. They can, they can calm you down. Yes. It depends on the, on whatever situation you are in. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. So I love featuring them in my paintings, like you've observed. Yeah. Right. The grass and bones are beautiful, and I like incorporating them in mine as well. I mean, you can see the sankofa. Yeah, the one. Yes. Yeah. You can see a lot, a yes. lot of meanings. Yes. They have one stomach. That's you right. know. Yeah. Beautiful. There, beautiful. there's the uh, Namibia, which I yeah. really love using. Namibia is really cool. crying. Yes, it's got quite a, a couple of symbols in there, exactly. which speaks to the mind. And the one in the middle was a kind of a collage. Mm. Yes, me... I use the vinyl, the vinyl, the record player plate. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's what I have stuck on it. They are real ones. And then the brown parts are sack. The jute sacks they used to sell the cocoa. Wow. Pack the cocoa, yes. That I have cut them and stuck them there. And then the black and white parts are paintings of our heritage. They've got our hats, our beaches, our canoes, yes. um, our animals, anything we have in Africa can be found in there yes very educative i mean for people that don't know uh the vinyl is something that we used to play way back <laughs> for those of you who are stuck <laughs> in the ipod or I, 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 iphone era or the the android era these are vinyl yes. the music uh, so i can tell that the size is quite a big one because these vinyls are quite big in diameter so um uh -huh. Are they are they large pieces that you normally do? Yes, yes. The mid the middle one, the one with the records, yes. is five foot by four foot. Wow, that's huge. So it's quite large. Yeah, it's quite right, huge. Right, right. Uh, but the edinkra is eighty by eighty centimeters, as well as the drum, the talking that's right. drums. That's right. Yeah. right. So 
So Chike says LP, as we normally call them. Uh, we commonly call them. Yes, so LP. Yes, yes. We have LP and we yes. used to have SP. SP being the short play, LP being the long play. That's right. So what about the first one on the left-hand side? So I want to show you my painting. Oh, you got it. Right. I don't know Lovely. if it can be viewed well. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. I'll, I'll bring That's the banner down and then we can have a look at this painting. That's the Ghana must go. Wow. Let me just put just you on screen so that we can see that. So this painting yes. is called Ghana must go. Must go. Yes. That is amazing. And that was one of your first so that's the bone. That's the bone shaker. Okay. Which is one of my signatures. I love it because I've sat in some when I was young. Yes. And I plan to own one as well. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you've got the market people. Um, you know, it was 1983 when the Nigerians. Yeah, I think you can see the number plates. That's it. I can see the number plate. Yes. yes. 1983. And then when the Nigerians and the Ghanaians had a, uh, their issues, you know, with migration. That's right. Yeah. So that's yeah. the bone shaker, which has got jute sack stuck on it. Okay. Yes. I can see that. Yes. Yeah. That is beautiful. So, yeah. what, what medium do you normally paint in? Do you use oil or acrylic? Or um, acrylic. Acrylic is your main medium. All right. Yes. I love acrylic as well. And, and why acrylic? Um, it's it's it's. I've got a bit of asthma, okay. <laughs> so okay. the oil doesn't really favor me. That's true. Wait a the oil, yeah, the oil doesn't really favor me. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of the smell. Yes. So yes. the acrylic is uh much preferred, and then Maybe. it dries quickly as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's why I love using the acrylic. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So Denise says that the bone shaker we sat in to go to Boti Falls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can imagine I know, that right? Denise is an, a, a, a goza girl, is it? That was Kobo Girls. That was Kobo oh, Girl. Denise Kobo is Kobo Girl. Girl. <laughs> yes. Thanks, yeah, Denise. Denise, Denise yeah, that me. was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, Prepper, we had one as well. I think all secondary school had um, a bunch yes. of yes. Yeah. yeah, with the with the inscription, the school That's name. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and then probably something African written, That's a funny right. thing to yeah. 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 So um right, let's let's move into the main subject of this interview, which is the Guinness World <laughs> Record. I mean, it's not a mean feat at all for someone to attempt the Guinness World Record. Um, what really pushed you into it? What made you think that, no, let me go and attempt the Guinness Book of Records and get a record for the longest painting marathon? Uh, this marathon thing. <laughs> um, let me put it here. I think it, 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 it first started when um, I went for an interview at Three Lemons with Franca. And she, as she got to know, I had done 1,480 paintings for Rock City. She was like, look, you need to be in the Guinness Book of Records. I was like, oh, really? Mm. So that was the first time, actually, it got stuck in my mind. And I came Googling, searching for what it was, like what it entailed, and I had heard of it. But right. so I tried to apply, not knowing that, you don't use finished works to apply. They oh. always want you in action so that they get the fact of you doing it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I, I went off it for a while till Afia started her singer tone. That's it. So when she started it, then I told my daughter that, oh, if we had even looked and like, gone further probably i would have done it by now so i think when i told her she also started googling on it again and then one night she was like mommy somebody has done it in the u.s it's painting so you can break it and right. i was like okay then apply for it for me so i didn't even do the application <laughs> 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 
It's my 18 year old daughter who did that. So wow. I was like, I, I just went, uh, I didn't even think about it. So I was there about three weeks. Then I got a response and I said, is it real? Has it been approved? She was like, yes. Then I called uh, those who had done it already. Yes. Yeah. And I asked them that, how long did it take for you to get approved? They said five months. They were all like four or five months. And I said, ah, three weeks. I've got approval. Through, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I was surprised. And I was like, oh, wow. Then the date I chose was even further. That was around June I chose. Yeah, that would do it. So when it just came, I said, why not? Let me just, once I'm a heritage painter and I project my culture, let me just do it in the Ghana month. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's so it. that was when I went to see GTA, Ghana Tourism Authority. Okay. And we had to go to and fro, up and down, changing venues till I got to the attic, the Accra Tourist Information Center. Yes. Where I finally had my cubicle built. And wow. that was sponsored. Yeah, that was sponsored by both GTA and Azar Paints. Okay. Yes. So a big, a big, a big, like, let's give them a shout out because hey, let's give them a shout they, out. Well, that's, oh well, yes, that's, because that well, thing, that great. thing was so expensive. Yes. Yeah. But they came through with me with that, and all my other sponsors too. Thank you. They supported me. We're gonna give me my clothes. Um. I got security from Global Skies, uh, Udai Studios from nice. USA. Yes, they came to take a coverage throughout. Um, DW TV was there as well. Right. But, you know, just before mine, unfortunately, the internet went down in Africa. Oh, yes, I remember that one. Yes, yes, yes. So even the day I was supposed to start, we were delayed. So I think, yeah, we started later than we anticipated. And my level of, um, should I say my, the audience I should have got. It went down as a result. It yes. went down, yes, it went down. Yes. Yeah, it went down due to the, so. But still the same. It was successful. I mean, at the end of the day, I was brilliant. able to complete seven days. Okay, seven days. Yes, that's a whole week <laughs> Amazing. of sitting, standing, and painting. Wow. And yes, it was. It, was, it wasn't. It wasn't easy. I can imagine. But let's take it yes. a day at a time. So we've talked about mm -hmm. the say, and I'm showing on screen you in the process of painting i hope mm -hmm. you'll bring your memories back so that we can talk about these memories i mean how was the emotion like going into it let's say day one for instance how was it like how did you mentally prepare i was tired i can imagine i was tired because one like i was telling you the internet we were not being able to get the timer Mm. Um, before getting it up, uh, putting the place together, which was within a short time, because yeah. by the time we got the sponsorship, it was it was time. Wow. So it's like I was running around. I hadn't slept for two days already. Even before then. Yes, yeah. and I had to enter the cubicle. So I just asked myself, will I be able to do this thing? Mm. Was, uh, seriously, I was scared. Let me put it right. You I was really? scared in terms of that. Yes. In terms of that, I was like, no, I should have rested by now, put myself together. Yeah. But I don't know. Surprisingly, I sat behind that canvas for 10 hours before getting up so on the first day. Stretch. Yes. Yes. Straight wow. 10 hours. Wow. Yeah. That before going on break. Yes. So if, if I may ask, I mean, looking at your studio setup, you've got yes. traditional African things like the, uh, what do you call the pot? 
you've got things lying yeah. around. Were they for inspiration or was it part of the African month setup? What was it? The, the Ghana month setup? Um, if you look at my studio, yes, yeah, you can see a similar. Okay, let, let me zoom into your studio. Bear with me one second. Let's, yeah. Let the audience see it as well. Right. So we look yeah. at your studio in real look time. Look at the vinyl. That's it. My guitar. Yes. Um, there's a jingame there. That's it. Yeah. And okay. it's got this African. Yeah, I've got my um the lamp. That's you it. know the yeah. kanea. Yeah. The lantern. Yeah. The kanea. Yes. The yes. lantern. Uh huh. That's so a I wanted a place. I wanted a, pl a place similar to where I get my inspiration to paint. That's right. Yeah. So I tried as much as possible to make the, my environment look a bit homely for me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I like that idea. So that it's not yeah. too out of your comfort zone as well. Yes. And um, in terms of the mortar, the pistol, and all that, that I use, the Ayua, which is the earthenware pot, mm -hmm. I use those because we were in the Ghana month. Right. And I found it appropriate for that time to bring our project, our culture to the world. Yes. Okay. Okay. No, that's, that's really good. So let, let's talk about the emotional, because I'm more concerned as an artist, how you were feeling emotionally and you overcoming mm -hmm. that to be able to still create because creativity is such an, a spiritual, emotional part of ourselves. We give our yeah. all. To so how were you able to cope with these challenges? as well as find a peace of mind to create these beautiful paintings. If you talk about that, that was that was one part I really struggled. Mm. I'm used to painting in the night. That's right. And I paint alone, mm -hmm. you know, when it's quiet. So my first challenge was somebody watching me painting. I don't like that. Which I've tried to overcome a couple of times on TV, programs or probably um when kwabo um 2003 had their uh, uh, annual um dinner yes fundraising dinner i did a live painting there which was also uh, part of my training but still i wasn't used to that that's true so trying to psych myself mm -hmm. that i'm alone Probably the environment I created within the cubicle helped a bit. Right. Okay. Yeah. And luckily enough, my back was turned to the, the audience yeah. so that they could see what I was painting. That's right. And that also helped in one way or the other. That's true. Yeah. But emotionally, I struggled a bit because I needed that calm atmosphere uh, to be able to bring out what was within me. That's but true. I think I think I had to, at a point, I had to talk to myself. I had to tell myself that, hey, this is not, you, you are not, you are not painting in terms of like your luxury true. kind of painting. This yes. is a marathon. That's it. Uh, there are rules you applied. Mm -hmm. You need to abide you know and most especially when it came to one of the rules which was your brush shouldn't leave your canvas more than one minute what <laughs> yes your you are an artist you are an artist and you okay. know what i'm talking about yes, it's only your brush should it's be different it's, it's different yes it's different if you are painting maybe you're looking on something to paint yes. yeah so that one, you just watch, you watch, and then you watch, and then you just paint. Yes. No, you are creating from within. Wow. The canvas you have picked, an idea has come. It's not a full idea. Yes. You don't even know how it's going to look like. That's true. So obviously, there's going to be pauses. Oh, you yes. are going to pause and think. Yes. Thank you. So that was the part I kept wondering, why did Guinness put this rule in for an artist yes yes 
or then i asked myself or oh, did i have to just look because when i looked at my predecessor the nigerian who did it in the u.s yes his paintings were very very either a uh, portrait or let's say portrait looking on wow. portraits and painting or wow. the other ones were very simple things like a football a clown That's that you know yeah. yes so yeah. i asked myself is this what i was expected to paint mm. but that is not what that's not my type of painting true as well yes so i i just kept wondering how he did that because if i don't know i don't know and any artist who i don't know maybe i'm I, i'm not sure i i was 100 percent there no 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 because mm -hmm. i don't even see i don't know maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe i did it maybe i did it so, uh, let's say by day three day number three for instance mm -hmm. how de deprivation from sleep is one of them as well and uh -huh. you know you having to keep your brush on for that period of time what were the other rules did you have to let's say if you wanted to go for a break comfort break for instance how long did you have i had after everyone uh i, I was entitled to five minutes break okay okay but they stated in the rules that you could, uh, for instance, the first day I did the 10 hours, mm. it piles up to be 50 minutes. All right. Okay. A 50 minute break. Yes. Which you can use to refresh yourself. If okay. you are uh, a shallow sleeper, so maybe you can do some uh, 30 minute sleep within it. Yes. Yes. yes right. Which I tried several times, but it was, it was crazy. It wouldn't work. It was crazy. Look, sometimes they wake me up and i can't see anything but you're going to i'm play. like i know wow. and then they are like they are like you have five minutes more my team were oh that team i don't know i don't want them back <laughs> <laughs> in a very loud uh, they, like, they, they were too them. hard on me they were too hard on, they'll be like you have five minutes open your eyes look you have to get seated two minutes before the time and then wow. you have to check in that into the camera. I said, wow. <laughs> wow. It, it was, it was, it, it wasn't easy. Yeah, it wasn't easy. No, 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 no. I think mm. even the second night, mm. the second night, I think I dozed off a bit. Yeah, yeah, you will. Once you I was in session, you are human being. Oh yes, I'm human. Yes. I think I dozed off a bit, and that time I wasn't, I wasn't feeling too well too. Mm. Mm. Yes. So in my evidence, I attached my report. That's right. Yeah, and I explained what happened there. Yes, because um, I wasn't okay, and there was a medication problem a bit. That's right. And but it's not been easy. No, 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 no. So what What made no. you carry on? At At some point, did you want to stop and give it all up? And what made you carry on? The, I think game? about the third day, they start, I started fighting with them. I was fighting with no. everybody in the cubicle. I was fighting yeah. with everybody. I didn't even want to hear them talk. They shouldn't talk to me. I was like, hey, I said, don't tell me what to do. I was like, yes. you know, and I went off. I went off. Well, and well. according to them, there were things I was saying I don't remember. Wow. If, even if you ask me today if I do, I don't well, remember well. those things. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think the lack of sleep is, is a major factor. Yes, yes. so it's not, it's not that easy. Yeah. It's not Sitting easy. Look, I'm sleep. somebody who sits up in the night. I paint mm. from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Wow. Most nights. But that one, you see, I'm home. Yes. And it's relaxing. I can pause. Even if I can pause for 20 minutes, I can That's do right. that. That's right. You know? Compared uh -huh. to this but yes. But I know I can sit down for those 12 hours without even getting up mm. to go to the washroom or anything. But this was different. Wow. This so was that, absolutely that, that, different. That through because you've shown us that it is possible. I mean, as creatives, because no artist has done it the way you've done it to that extent. Seven days of yeah. painting. I wish I, I could. I was surprised. I produced 145 paintings in the seven days. Although I could have produced more than that. Yeah. So these are some of the yes. paintings, are they? Yes, these are the Guinness World Record paintings. Yeah. And they are all for sale. That's it. Yes. Definitely. They're all for sale. They're all for sale. Yeah. At the end of the interview, we'll put your handles there 
so that everyone mm -hmm. from around the world, if you want to purchase some, definitely you can purchase some. Uh, we'll, yes, we'll because I have signed under them with a Guinness World Record. Good, good, good. Yeah. good, good. That, that's amazing. So they are they are historic historic yeah. paintings to be owned. They are. They are. I'd love yeah. to own one of it. Definitely. Oh, you you see that market there? I know you will come to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The market women. I mean, definitely, yes. As a man, I'll come to it. Why have you painted them this way? <laughs> <laughs> that was the that was the last painting I, I did, and it's on a four feet by four feet camera. Uh, canvas. Canvas, yes. canvas, yes. And it's a huge one. Mm -hmm. But the what came in my mind, I think I just got energy within the last minute. I don't know where it came from. Mm -hmm. And the what came in my mind was the Garden of Eden, yes. Adam and Eve, which is found in the Bible. Yeah. I just imagined that what will a market look like in the Garden of Eden? Adam, if Adam and Eve hadn't sinned and they had been closed, so if. <laughs> So if they had been good good to God, how That's would it. the market look like today? Yeah. And that was the concept I used in painting this market scene. Uh, so I called it the uh, the market of Eden. That is amazing. That is a beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful concept. <laughs> so let, let me ask, between each painting, I mean, how did you plan the next painting? How did you know what you're going to paint next? This is a good question. When I was going... A couple of people I spoke to were like, hey, you have to list the things you are going to paint. That's what I was you thinking. have to have a list or else you will forget you do this. I told them that I beg you, the list will even confuse me because right. I've never done a list. I paint from within me. Okay. When I touch the brush, whatever comes out is what comes. So there was no way I could plan. There was no way I could plan because I remember there are times when I'm about to finish a painting, then one of my team members will be like, um, we hope you have uh, a concept for the, and I tell them, for please, the please don't, don't disturb me. Yeah. <laughs> Already they are annoying me there. They are annoying me because they can go on shift. They were running shift. They can go and sleep and yes. come, they eat, they are, yeah. you know, and I was just happy. You come and ask me these questions. I'm like, look, don't, don't bring yourself. <laughs> just, just stay in the background, you know? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. It so really it just awesome. came from within. It just came. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As Denise is saying, yeah, that was just a spontaneous act. So you just feel it and you put it down. That's yeah. Amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Marie says wow to that one as well. That is amazing. I mean, let's, let's look at, yeah, let's look at the last day of your painting. How mm -hmm. what made you stop? What did you have a time limit in mind, or did your team plan with you how long you're going to paint for? Um, I knew I was doing the 168 hours, which I applied for. Mm. The current rec the previous record was or current record was is um hundred hours. Okay. From the US. So I applied for 168. Wow. And I wanted to reach exactly what I had applied for. Okay. So yes. So I think I was supposed to have finished the Thursday. Yes. Or so. But because we delayed a bit in the starting due to the internet, um, the shortage, yeah, the breakage in the internet, I was like, we had to, we had to go beyond Thursday into Friday. That's right. Later into Friday, yeah, to clock the 168 yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah, so what my team did was, if I had any areas of break, mm -hmm. they made me take it during the morning before I got seated. All right. Because I told them that once I sit down, unless my time is up before I'm getting up, at least I know I'm going to sleep on a bed. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you kept us so, true to, to our YouTube channel. I was following yeah. all the way and I'm like, wow, this is a major event. The support that you have you had as well was amazing. I'm going to show I a know. video. 
Yeah, I'm sure if it wasn't this internet thing, I, because people, people, oh, thanks to my fans, you, you, you showed so much love on social media. I was, it, it just blew me off. Seriously, that's right. Let me show uh, you I'm surprised video. at the comments, and yeah. uh, God, don't let me let them down. Let me get the certificate. <laughs> we will get the certificate. Let's show this video, and then we'll carry on after it. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer This is amazing. I mean, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful concept. That is something else. And um, thank you so much for letting us see the possibilities. Um, let me unmute your mic so that you can chip in. I bet you yeah. saw the video and the support that was behind you. At Ghana Tourism Authority, you had politicians there. You had almost everyone who matters in Ghana coming over to back you. It's amazing. I mean, this video is something else that I saw. TK says, you did deserve every support, this great uh, accomplishment. That is amazing. Well, very well deserved. Let me show you some other pictures of people, just to jog your memory of what happened on that day. The support was from everyone. I can see your team raising some of the pieces that you did. And then we also had this cheering on from from people that came to support i mean who is the person on the left hand side the white gentleman oh that's the marketing manager for azar and savannah pinks all right okay. my my well, my I, sponsors I, yes yes well done well done he was them. so supportive very 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 mm. uh, yeah well and i i thank him so much yes that is beautiful yeah Oh. And I'm and looking forward to doing more projects with him. Good, good. Yes. Good. The main oh, you got pictures, oh, didn't you? That's amazing. <laughs> you had that's my, that's my papa, my, my godfather from that's right. Glover, that's a bloody right. Glover. Yes, yeah. I mean, if you have, if you have, a, let me take this off so we have a chat. If you have a bloody coming to your event, then you are really special. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you are. Oh, mm -hmm. and I can see Dr. Mm -hmm. Efra Sabia as well, a good friend of mine in the right hand side as well. She came to see yes. you, and then we have the yes. actor in the middle as well. So, I mean, yes. support wise, everybody was rallying behind you, which is really, really good. Mm -hmm. What is next for yourself? Um, have you put through your as you I think you mentioned it, you put through your evidence, is it to Guinness World Records? Yes, yes, I did that last night. My deadline was this morning, so everything went through last night. And breaking the it took a while because breaking the video into gigs, the gigs they wanted was so much work. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But we managed to fail through, so we've submitted everything. And from today we are waiting. You are praying. <laughs> It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We'll, we'll, we'll make Ghana proud. You will make Ghana proud. You'll make Ghana hey. proud. That's, that's yes, it. Yes. So um, what advice would you give artists who are, uh, you know, um, want to embark on such a journey, not necessarily Guinness World Record, but those who want to produce a body of work? What advice would you give them? I think they have to be strong. 
because art hasn't really been fully embraced in Ghana, if I may say. It's we it's it's gone far. We we are doing very well. Yeah. We are not doing so bad, but looking at how art is valued outside. Yes. You know, Europe, America, other places. Yeah. Art is art is life to them. Because anybody who really appreciates a piece can Anybody who appreciates a piece can, let me put it like, buy a painting for even a million dollars. Mm. Yes. That's true. Yeah, that's yes. the value of art. Yeah, but if a Ghanaian walks into your art gallery and asks of a painting, you tell them it's 10,000. Hey, are they here? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah. this thing you are collecting, even you take it as you are not even going to enjoy the painting as you should. Or you are you are not going to speak to, and the painting is also not going to speak to you as it should. But you are even collecting it. Imagine 10 years down the line. How much? The value. Yeah. yeah. It's a whole lot of money. That's true. Yeah. So I think I think uh, any artist, any young artist, the parents should allow their kids to bring out their creativity. Mm. Their creativeness in them should come out. Let's leave them. You know, we have different types of artists. It can even be through, uh, it will be painting, it can be Sculpture. pencil, yeah. it can be sculpture, anything, leave them. You see, because when you do something at your best, mm -hmm you enjoy it more that's true because looking at my journey with with art i had to drop it i had to pick on to architecture construction project management i'm working with it but i'm back to art that's it. and that that is what is uh fulfilling like taking me where i am do you do you understand exactly yes yes and that is what is giving me my satisfaction as well. So you don't try to deprive yourself or anybody from art. Very, very yeah. true. Very, very true. Yeah. Thank you so much for this, this advice. I think budding artists who want to go into a full time and be professional artists would definitely take your oh, advice. Yeah. They should. You don't yeah. know who will admire your, your art. You don't know who will value it. That's true. And you'll be surprised. You will think you are just splattering colors on something, or you are just splashing something, but you never know. You never know. That's you that's know. yeah. That is what that is what will just sweep somebody off their feet. And I think these days One technology day. has also made it very easy for us to share our work to the whole world. So with the, yes. with the help of the internet, we can just put out yes. one artwork, and the whole world gets to yeah. see it. So yeah. we are not limited to. Just so one. they are even lucky. They are much, much, much luckier. And they have to take advantage of that. Definitely. Yeah. Even if, uh, no matter how young you are, you can let your parents exhibit it on their Facebook page for you. Or Denise has been doing that for her daughter. And mm -hmm. I admire that so much. Yes. Yes. And she does good. good. She's, she's good. I love that girl's art. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. Great. So what are your last words for us? And then we'll move on to where people can find your work to buy. Oh, my last words are a big thank you to my supporters, a big thank you to my fans on social media, my team, that's Team Padiki. Uh, we fought and fought and fought, but we, we still through. <laughs> well done to Team Padiki. I want to thank God. I want to thank God for the strength he gave me and the patience, the stamina. It's not easy for a 47-year-old woman to, to do, have a know, seven day yeah. sleepless night that's right <laughs> you did well you did so yeah well. so um thank you to everybody my sponsors everybody and i i pray i don't let you down even if it won't happen it won't happen even, no. if, even it if, if and it won't happen 
And if I get this one, I'll do another one. Eh? So <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. She might do another one. I'm telling you, even if she wins this one, she's gonna do another one. I'll do another <laughs> one, yeah. So they shouldn't worry. I'm I'm gonna be with them. We are going to be together. All yes. Yes, right. and I'll try as much as possible to to use this platform to promote my fellow artists, my colleagues in Ghana. Yes, get their works also to be seen. Um, I'm planning on uh, setting up an, an arts community kind of group. Great. Yes. Yeah, an association. And I, a lot of things are going to come. I just opened a foundation as well um, to boost what I have been doing before on a very quiet uh, scale. Like I, I do this for villages and schools right. and orphanages. Uh, but now I want to go, I want to bring it to the limelight. Yes. Right. Bring it yes. And do it on a large oh, scale. I, I know you do so many yeah. other things as well. You've even written a book called Reflections. Yes. Is it? Wow. I launched I my book off. last year, June, at Aliza Hotel. And uh, give me my book, Jenny. That's the book is reflections mm -hmm. and reflections contains um go. it contains hundred poems of okay. hundred of my paintings yes wow. I, I cannot, I'll get to the so gate. hundred paintings with hundred poems each painting has a yes. poem that goes there. yes yes that is amazing where can I we think that came out it came about one night when I wanted to explain my paintings. Okay. And I just thought about it. That was the best way to let people see the painting and know how I felt. Yeah. So when the description came to my mind, I said, no, I can't describe the painting. Then it's mm -hmm. still like the person just watching it. Yeah. So I then decided that, no, let me delve deep into the painting. Bring out how I felt. For the painting before it was done after it was done and i came out with these poems yeah so the painting is on one page okay. and then the poem is on the other page yes that is beautiful yes that so is this is beautiful. kind of like a coffee table book which yeah. everyone can own yes i yeah. like i like the concept um, you get to have own a piece of the artwork as well as a yeah. poem that goes the artwork. That is really cool. Yeah. So if yeah, we have them. Home, where do they get, get it from if they wanted to buy yes. it? We, it's on Amazon. It's on ebook and iBook. Okay. Um, Book Nook has it as well online. Yeah. And then Padiki Art Gallery store has it as well. And then you can find some at my gallery as well. And um, a few local bookshops in Ghana. I've got some in um, some small shops in Margate in the UK as right. well. They are so also selling copies for me. Amazon link. For those of you who are in the UK, that's the Amazon link. I just copied the whole link. So just click on it yeah. and you'll be able to buy this book. Um, it's in the comment yeah. section. So you'll be able to see it. Yes. Yeah, like wow. that is amazing. That is amazing. Thank you. So, in terms of the art, um, you have advocacy. We're pushing for advocacy of art in Ghana specifically. Do you think the government of Ghana is turning around the corner? Are they paying attention? I mean, you had Ministry of Tourism coming to support. Uh, how are they doing? <laughs> you. I like the long post. I like. It. We were talking. We were talking chambers. I like that. <laughs> I like that. We we're talking chambers. Right. Okay. <laughs> and thank you to GTA. Thank you, you to know, GTA. Thank you to Ministry now. of Tourism. Yeah. They've done well. They've done well. Yeah. So now, thank you so much. Uh, if thank people want to reach out to you on social media, too, uh, where can they find you on social media? Yes, um, I have uh, my website is www.padikiartgallery.com. 
Okay, let's see. And then you find my social handles, Padiki Arts Gallery on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We are everywhere. Um, we've also got the Padiki Arts Foundation, right. which is on Facebook and Instagram for now. Okay. And we are looking at it growing for us to help. Already next week, I'm embarking on going into a couple of secondary schools in Accra. I'm going to have art talks with them. I'm going to have painting sessions yeah. with the visual art students. Um, right before I do my sales of the paintings, which will happen at um, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel on the 10th and 11th of May. Right. So the 10th happens to be a Friday. That's going to be 6 p.m. after work. Everybody should just come around. It's not expensive. I don't want you to have that notion of art. And yeah. yes, this is a Guinness World Record paintings. That's right. They are all affordable. They need to go. I was asked to sell them. Right. So they all need to go. They need to have owners. It would be nice to own a historic painting. Definitely. They are not expensive. They range from 400 Ghana. Any yeah. Anybody can afford some. That, that is reasonable. I mean, for pieces yes. of artwork that makes history, uh, I yes. think that's reasonable. Yes. Yes, because I don't want to um, uh, add, like, uh, attach it to my gallery paintings. Yes. yes, these are different. So on the 10th in the evening, the Friday evening is the auction night. That night, we are going to auction just a couple of them. And then on the 11th, which is the Saturday, it's all day at La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Damba 3. Wow. And that one is going to be sales. So the prices, the normal prices I've told you about are going to be attached to them. You pick what you want, you pay for them. There's going to be 360 side attraction, it's going to be a cocktail and, you know, other things to keep you occupied. There'll be painting sessions going on as well. And I think it's going to be fun. It's just come, let's celebrate Adiki. Guys, you and... can't miss it. I wish I, wish I was in Ghana <laughs> myself, definitely. I wish I was there to come and support. But hey, you never know. So everyone that's in Ghana, it's a clarion call. Let's go and, and support our sister. Let's push all the pieces. Let's Let's sell all of them that day. That's right. Great. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing this moment with us and your experience with us. It has really encouraged us. So all my audience say uh, a big thank you to Sharon for us and he uh, for us this afternoon. So thank you. Thank so you too. Thank you for having me. Thanks my audience for watching me and your comments, your encouragement. Thank you it's so amazing. Much. Thank you. Bye, Bye for now. Great, fantastic. So it was awesome this afternoon. We had Sharon the day Padiki who joined us and we've had an awesome time talking about her work, talking about the Guinness World Records, which we are waiting for the certificate for, and I know she will get it. Those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel already, uh, do well to subscribe to my channel. I do well to bring an African artist every moment. So as you can see, all these people are some of them that I've interviewed over the years but I will be bringing you uh, artists every Saturday so that we have a good time talking about African art. So thank you so much. Uh, K says thanks. Thanks to all of you who came to join us live and hope to see you the next Saturday. God bless you. Bye for now. Let me put our outro there so that you can all enjoy as we sign out. <laughs>